What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be doing a James Harden gameplay. So if you guys could leave a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. This video is the second time I'm having to record this. I literally got into the fourth quarter and my computer shut down, the audio is gone. So I'll show a couple of the clips from the game um, right before we actually get onto the game. But um, yeah, so pretty much uh, is the second time. So if we could get, let's just say 350 likes, that would be unbelievable. But uh, yeah, so anyway, now let's go over James Harden. So James Harden, funnily enough, is six foot four. He is six foot four. So mistakes that 2K have made today so far. First, they released the packs and they put all the players from the Isaiah Thomas packs. So they didn't even check that. Second, Hido Turkoglu had an Evo requirement of playing 150 games at Ruby. And now his Evo requirement to get him to, an, to a Ruby Sorry, is to score 150 points in one game. In one game. It's getting ridiculous some of the stuff 2K are doing. And then they got James Harden's height wrong. Six foot four. And even if, I don't know, that might be his height, who knows, um, with the whole new measurements. This is still a James Harden card from Judge of Shoes, probably 2016. Um, and James Harden was 100% listed at 6'5 in 2016. But um, Hall of Fame volume shooter, tireless shooter, green machine, flex release, dead eye. He's got floor general, which is good. Range extender, which is good. Quick draw, which is good. Dimer, which is great. He's got quick first step. He's got um, top and go, so it's really, really good. And also he's got silver catch shoot, which is all right, and silver downhill, as well as silver interceptor, which helps him get in passing lanes. Also, we can play at the point guard, which is huge. I love how it says 83 defense overall, and his defense is terrible. And you see some players at 83 defense are actually fairly decent defense. I don't know where these overalls come from. But he's got an okay post fade, good driving layup, good shot mid, good shot three. He's got a good driving dunk, good ball handling stats, good passing stats. Steal rating of 77 is obviously is not incredible, but it's not terrible. Perimeter defense 64, but look, it's James Harden. You have him for offense. As Mike D'Antoni said in Game of Zones, double the offense, half the defense. Um, but he's got no real rebounding stats, which is a bit weird because, actually, you know, this was before he started almost averaging triple doubles. Um... Speed, speed, ball, acceleration, all of 86. I've actually, like, I've used him before. <laughs> like, this is the second time. He is good. Like, he is genuinely, um, he's quick. And he's kind of almost, I'm not going to say he's crafty because it's hard to be crafty in 2K. But he, he's like Luka Doncic. You can go by people with ease in this game, even though speed is the best. And ladder points is not absolutely terrible either. So the team you're running with is James Harden at the 1, Beal at the 2, Tatum at the 3, Durant at the 4, and Duncan at the 5. So... Obviously, we got 243,000 MT by selling all of our dupe James Hardens. We pulled four of them in our pack opening. And then this is probably going to be my team, except for I'm going to be replacing Tatum with Rashard Lewis. I'm playing Rashard Lewis to four, but he's obviously not for a buyout right now. So I'm not going to be um, doing that anyway. So yeah, bench is Baron Davis, Jeff Petri, Paul George, Giannis, or LeBron, depending on and um, what the other team is running and then either Amari or LaFrentz again depending on how I feel and then Luca is just kind of my third string point guard because you kind of need three point guards due to the fact that they lose stamina so easily but uh yeah so anyway now let's go to the hot zones and release with James Harden then we're gonna get on to the game so James Harden is gonna hot zones everywhere outside the three-point line unfortunately one cold zone inside the three lovely starting it off in a full white glitch but his release is I'm still not gonna say it's 2k17 James Harden good release or Whatever about 2K17 James Harden, this is not 2K14 James Harden release. But um, he actually does the like, okay, I don't know how I trigger that there, but he does the like, nor the James Harden, is it a travel, isn't it a travel step back? I don't know. Again, like the last time I was doing this, I was really struggling to tr uh, trigger it. Again, I'm not at all there, which is, is a little bit annoying. Nope. No. So, uh, yeah, I am. You guys probably know that I'm not the best in terms of like things like that, like triggering step backs and stuff. I don't know how I'm not triggering it now. Oh my god, this is this is horrendous. So trust me, like if you guys want things like that, I am not the person to go to. But if you guys want to put the ball um, into the basketball players with ease, without using too much quote unquote stick skills, this is the perfect place to go. So his dribbling is actually quite good. Um, going to the basket, he dunks really well. He is 6'4", so he's not going to be too tall for point guard. Also, not too small. 
but you should be fine. And also his moving shot is really good. I hit a couple of moving threes with him in the last game. And one thing you can't see here that's really good is his passing. He's actually got really, really like he's got at least passing in this game. Like one of the best passes I've used. So anyway, now let's just green one more three. And really we're gonna look five in a row till then. Full white glitch. Come on. Oh lads, we're green everything until we need the green one for the game. Now let's get on to the game. Hey, so we're playing John Wall, Bruce Bowen, Paul George, Duncan, and Amare. So a good team right here. Definitely a really good team. Some great defenders, guys that can slash. Um, yeah, it's a really good team. So these are just a couple of clips from the start of the first game. The video file corrupted as well for some reason, as well as uh, the audio file, which was not ideal. So we did get pretty much a first quarter gameplay where Harden hit a couple of threes. An unbelievable alley-oop pass right there. And yeah, this is pretty much all we have, unfortunately, for everything corrupted. Oh, come on. Good defense by Bowen. You can switch that. He's going to pull up. Bowen may have the best. Like, I'm saying this right now. I'm saying this right now. If Bruce Bowen had range extender, he'd be a top three card in the game. And we burn Bruce Bowen off the dribble and James Harden gets the dunk. Let's go. It takes a serious player to burn Bruce Bowen off the dribble. Not on. It's Harden. Drive in. Hit Beal in the corner. He's got gold dimer. And Bradley Beal knocks down the three. Oh, got him with snatch back. Okay, release. James Harden can't hit it. Good position here, though. Oh, what? 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 You threw straight to him. Like, he wasn't even denying him. You literally passed the ball to the other team. Like, I'm meant to be colorblind. Like, I'm colorblind. My players in game are not meant to be colorblind. We are wearing red and black. Even I know that much. Okay, shot by Duncan. Can't hit it. Okay, this guy's good on defense. Bang, bang. Green. Massive shot there by James Hart. Good move. Duncan's gonna eat Kevin Durant alive in the post. But I'm shooting six or seven in the field, which is not it's just simply not good enough by me. Okay, he went up way too high there. Snatch back into mid range. Green for Harden. Let's go. He's doing. I Harden himself has had a good first quarter. Rest of my team, not so much. Oh, it's all open for Harden. Snatch back into the three point shot. Green. He might be rivaling Kobe White for the best snatch back three in the game. And that's a. That's saying something because Kobe White is unbelievable. Harden Gatorade symbol in the first quarter. Fade away three. He hits it. Let's go, Harden. What a shot to end the quarter. That has given us a one point lead as well at halftime or at the end of the first. Okay, Mark Price cannot play defense. So we're good. And neither can Michael Red, though. So, he, but he does have a good shooting team here. But his team cannot, literally just can't play defense, so should be good. Stop. Bit too deep. Full white. Glitch. Let's go. Off. Pinch. Good job there, because if we'd missed that, it was an easy two points for him. Amari, go to the basket. I don't know why I threw that lob. I was just, I was genuinely pointless. We had a wide open dunk there with Baron Davis, and we risked it. He's pausing out of his game. He's pausing out of this game early. What the hell is this? What the hell does this mean? If I exhibit a pattern of falsely reporting images, like what the hell does this mean? I am genuinely confused as to what happened there. I basically, my computer bricked somehow. Like I couldn't use my mouse. So I had to like Alt F4 out of the game. That was weird. That was really weird. So I'm guessing I got the loss, yeah. So my two losses were for me pausing out of the last game, my very first game with Harden in the fourth quarter where I won. Like, it doesn't really matter. I got Baron Davis. And then that. Like, he was trying to pause out of the game, and it was like threatened. It basically came up saying I'd be suspended if I kept falsely reporting images. What the hell was that? Could not be the new, like, sub glitch. Basically, um, figuring out a way to uh, get your opponent banned or something? Because you're beating them in a game of 2K? I don't know what the hell happened there, but Harden did really well, and obviously there are some clips from the previous game, so we've been very, we've been way too long I'm at this, so I'm just gonna go and play a game of Triple Trout Online, the one game mode that genu that generally is safe in a 
in terms of worrying about like hackers and stuff, this is not an ideal system for that, is there are hackers everywhere. So I'm going to put in, I'll play Joe Smith, why not? So James Harden, Joe Smith, and Paul George. All right, so John Wall, Kevin Love, Dominique. Dominique is a bit of a uh, not great player, but John Wall and Kevin Love are good. Kevin Love especially in triple trad is good. It's open. All right, released by Harden, can't hit it. The right back at the Harden for three, green, all right. Here we go. All right, start to the game, 50% from three. And they green at three. That is not ideal, and it's been Dominique, the guy who I'm saying is not great, that has come down and hit his boat, his shots. So we gotta do a little bit of a better job of guarding a not great player than that. Uh, they've stepped under the screen, terrible release though. We got blessed. That was a look, that was pure luck, that shot. Get in the lane, unlucky. Got silver intercepted though. And we nearly left Dominique wide open again. Good play by Kevin Love. Kevin Love is so difficult to stop in triple threat. That's, he's one of the players that I genuinely dislike coming up against. You come up against him in every single game pretty much. Stepped into it, three, all right, release. Harden hits it. There we go, so. We've not started the best so far, but we're still tied. So you can never complain when you're tied. And we've left Dominique open for another green. Okay. Okay, I give credit where credit's due. This guy is money with Dominique Wilkins. Leaner, James Harden. Can't hit it. This isn't 2K19. You can't hit that shot consistently. Oh, lads, we are now well and truly in struggle town. Got him on our back. Oh my god. I can genuinely hear the rain. It's so loud in Ireland, in Dublin right now. Oh my god. Sorry if you guys can hear it in the background. This is the loudest, I think. It's no hail, just lashing rain right now. Oh, good job. Great dunk by Nick. It's Dominique Wilkins that's killing me. The guy who I said was no real threat. Proving me wrong. The curse of the commentator and all that. Okay, that was not meant to be that. Hey, Paul George. Wide open. Okay, release. They haven't greened very many. And they're at me with Dominique again. Good job, Paul George. Put a stop to him. He's actually doing a really good job on defense here with John Wall. We got him the spin move, did we? Good layup there by Harden. All right, so we are back to a 30-point game. Except on there. From deep green. Okay, if we got to stop, we're back in this. Hey, okay, leaner. James Harden. Knocks it down. Let's go. Taking it, or we brought it back to one point. I think I can actually win this game if I get a stop here. Does he trust Kevin Love to shoot a jumper? Jump two of them. Two of them jumping. Our board. Once we connect, we're good. One word. Oh, way too deep. That was a terrible shot. It's fine. Post me up with John Wall. Good defense. Oh, he threw it right into his hands. Oh, that was dumb. That was so dumb, but it's TTO. I couldn't care less if I lose. <laughs> Now, lads, before we get on to it, I'm just letting you guys know, for nearly two hours, as you guys can see here, three hours, 40 minutes, Omir Sheik was not pullable. Yep, I, I, I opened over 1 million MT packs and didn't get him. He was initially meant to be a silver. He's got F in basically everything, but for two hours, he wasn't pullable, which is crazy. So yeah, this video has been a bit of a weird one. It took three takes, um, audio breaking, a ban threat for some reason, as well as um, a, just a normal game of TTO. And in the end, I came away with what says three losses, even though two of them realistically would have been comfortable wins. But yeah, so anyway, that's the video. Harden is really good. Really, really good offensively. As good an offensive card as there is in this game, to be honest. There's not that many better offensive point guards. And again, because my tactic is always twice the offense, or half the defense, twice the offense, 
and try to outscore opponents, he fits me perfectly. If you want clamps on your point guard, if you want some of the clamp other players down, there's better point guards. But if you just want some to put the ball in the basket, Harden's as good as anyone. I mean, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.